Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for love and wealth. And it's going to be from now until the end of July. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. So we're going to talk about love, then wealth. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. All right, so what's going to happen for my Capricorn romantic love life now until the end of July. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's going on here. All right, so the first card, wow, the judgment card energy. We have the 10 of swords, so you're ending a tough cycle here. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Twin Flame Soulmate card, the Lover's card energy coming in. The Ten of Pentacles, okay, great card. The Hermit card energy. The Five of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups, let's clarify this. There was another sign actually had this ending card. I think it was Libra. So your sun, moon, rising sign is Libra. You may want to check out that reading as well. So it's clarified by the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Okay. And one more card here. Six of Pentacles. Okay. The bottom of the deck. Okay. So it definitely seems to be a theme. Uh, I've noticed through the signs here that it looks like truths are coming out, okay? And you're no exception here, Capricorn. It looks like you're finally getting some kind of answers here about some kind of broken heart uh, or how things broke apart. And now, yes, and this is the other thing that I'm noticing, a lot of people are, are a lot of signs are having this sense of regret. It's like there's been this lack of appreciation, okay? And it's like overall, I'm seeing that a lot of the signs are having realization of like, okay, I realized that I took advantage of the situation or I didn't appreciate you. It's like a lot of that stuff going on, but let's go forward here. So it looks like you guys are either getting a, an apology, okay? Because I feel like this person, I feel like this person's very apologetic on all levels here, okay? Yeah, you're seeing some kind of signs. It really is making you happy. It seems like the air is clearing here. There is a completion happening. Things are ruling in your favor. And it's like, you got that energy of like, I don't know if I'm coming or going here, but you know it's coming because this is the first card. And we see the 10 of swords energy is coming out and you're ending a tough cycle. You're completing something very tough, okay? Um, and there's a healing energy coming in, okay? So if this isn't, isn't an actual apology from someone, okay? Or reconciliation for some of you. This is just showing me that Spiritually, you guys are definitely going through some kind of metamorphosis where you're going through some kind of healing. But we're going to clarify to see. It seems like even though you know this is done, this is completed, you know, there's still this kind of a little bit of yourself that's like, I'm cautious. Nine of Wands energy. Let's get more of the overall here, guys. And then we're going to clarify what that judgment card is about, okay? And what that Ten of Swords is about and why you're cautious there. So what's going to have my Capricorn dramatic love life now until the end of July? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. I feel like you definitely took on a lot, okay? You took on a lot. Yeah, we see spiritually there's been a lot of healing, a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplation, a lot of meditation on these arguments or fights. Now, this person could be doing that as well, so you have to take it as it resonates. But definitely there is love here coming in, Ace of Cups energy, and somebody who wants to do things by the book. That could be your energy. I feel like you guys are like, look, I've been floating out here for a while and I'm ready to find my direction here. I'm ready to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. Um, I feel like you guys are about to take control of this ship and you're thinking, contemplating, and you know it deeply that you're gonna find your way here. There's gonna be a risk that's gonna be taken here and concerns about con things going round and round and round in circles when this truth is revealed about emotions. You will have a victory here with the overall energy. So let's see what this is about. So what's gonna happen my Sagittarius romantic love life now until the end of July. Show me cards you need to see. 
Show me the cards I need. Two. Let's see, what's that about? So we see there's a person that's going to send you sad news. They feel sad, okay? And about a new person, child card energy, okay? We see a child for some of you, okay? Or they're sad that you may be, uh, so there's someone new in your life, child card energy, or they're concerned or sad that there may be someone new in your life. And looks like they want to heal the situation. Or for some of you, okay? Your person wants a fresh start and a new opportunity. But let's go down another layer here because, we, again, we see a victory card for you guys at the bottom of the deck. Some kind of attention, some kind of victory. Sad news about this child or children you have with this person or sad news about a fresh start. Uh, they're sad about their childish behavior, possibly, also. Um, and they want to heal and recover from that, okay? So what's going to happen my Capricorns? Romantic love life now until the end of July. Show me the cards. See? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So, yeah. So we see the two, two cards there or three cards are coming out here. So you see there is a person that wants to give you an apology. They feel sad and they're going to let you know that they have these, they've been obsessing about you, have strong desires, strong attachments here. Okay. What's this child card? There's been a lot of deep, heavy soul searching about this, possibly this childish behavior or that you may have someone new at a, now things are coming full circle, some kind of completion and ending. Finally, a completion, an end of a tough cycle there is coming in. I feel like you guys are a little bit cautious about going there with this person again because obviously we have this round and round card. Like when they reveal their emotions to you, you're like, yeah, do I want to take a risk on this? Am I going to keep going round and round with this situation? So there's a cautious energy here about it and uh, indecision is about wanting to heal it. Okay, so we see that there is this twin flame, soulmate connection, this relationship that you feel like was uh, uh, or is connected on uh, a lot of different levels here. And we see you could have family with this person, Ten of Pentacles energy, okay? Or there has been a long-term relationship or there's some deep, heavy soul searching. Do I want to continue down the long road with this person? Hermit card energy. We can see that there is a lot of regret here about some falsities and lying deceptions about this house, this family situation, okay? And you're going to have to make a decision very soon because your person has uncertainty about where you stand. Adam, you may be talking to friends for some advice for some of you guys, okay? Or this new person possibly for some of you that's coming in could be a friend, okay? So you're really thinking about this deeply. Do I go back with this person or, you know, should I endeavor with this friendship here? Okay. Or this person was like, all right, look, I don't know where I stand with you. I'd like to be more than just friends here. I feel like you've left me out in the cold five of pentacles energy. I feel lost here in this ending. And I want to talk to you about this Capricorn. You are the best decision for me, the most stable decision for me, Capricorn. You are the wisest decision for me in the long term. I hope I'm not doing any wishful thinking because maybe you have a lot of choices by this point. But I don't want to miss an opportunity with you. Are you going to accept what I have to offer here? And then we're clarified by a lot of contemplation about emotions with the Queen of Cups energy. And this person doesn't want some things to come to light. Seven of Swords energy of something that wasn't an equal give and take. So, and we see that there is this lover's card, this relationship that this person wants, and they're sharing their feelings with you, okay, with a romance card. I feel like you Capricorns, you got a couple of different choices coming in. One is somebody you've dealt with before. Now, I'm not, it's not showing like an X card energy, but it could have been somebody you had an X relationship with, but or it could have been someone that you had a deep friendship with for some of you that you guys were dating and it was kind of moving more in a serious direction. And then this person had a lot of uncertainty. I do feel like you guys have a couple of options coming in here with the socializing card. So you may have more than one choice or option. Um, this person looks like they, they are desperate for some kind of relationship. We see there was something to do with the money 
or family and some deceptions going on here. And then we see a lot of deep heavy soul searching about this house, this family, this stable situation and friends. Okay, so there could have been some influence of friends or this person was a friend and you guys were dating and something fell off with the situation, okay? Or there's a situation where you, uh, you have this person you used to date who's coming back around, who's giving an apology, but then you also have this person you're friends with and they're sharing their feelings and you're having hard hard conversations, but you don't know if you should accept uh, what's being offered here, okay, with the Four of Cups energy. We see that, yes, there's a relationship being presented to you guys, um, because of feelings, romantic feelings. But there's concerns that either you don't know if you want to accept what's being offered here. Okay, so let's get more information here, Capricorn. We see, you're gonna see some big changes, okay? Because of this regret about loss of time when this person had left you out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy, but now it's time, Capricorn, and you're going to have to make a decision, okay? So you're gonna see big changes coming up this month. You're, you're overcoming tough cycles and you got some choices to make, okay? When it comes to your romantic love life and one particular person is somebody who really has strong feelings for you, romantic feelings for you. Potentially could be a twin flame soulmate connection, okay? Because we see the twin flame card or a soulmate connection there. Okay, so let me move this out of the way, Capricorn, and let's now go into your career and finance. Okay, what's gonna happen my Capricorn's career and finance for now until the end of July? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Capricorns, we got the Page of Cups energy, Five of Pentacles, Temperance, Three of Cups, Queen of Wands, Seven of Wands, King of Wands, wow, Four of Pentacles, let me tell you why I'm saying wow, and King of Pentacles being the final card. Let me tell you what I hear outside, always go by omens. Literally, I hear fireworks outside, okay? We're not even in a holiday right now, but there's fireworks I hear outside, someone's setting off fireworks. Um, so that is actually a very good sign for you guys. And we're talking about career and finance now and the final card being the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands up there, okay? And the Four of Pentacles, okay? At the bottom of the deck though, there is a lot of self-doubt and worry here about your stability and stableness because of working together with others with the Three of Pentacles energy, but we see there's some good news coming in for you guys. Uh, you have, or you're going to get, overcome some kind of loss here with the Five of Pentacles energy. And so you're being patient here until things come into balance here. But we see that there is this, again, the friendship card or a, some kind of event coming up or some kind of networking coming up. Three of Cups energy. You look a very attractive, uh, I'm saying as far as a candidate goes to other, other potential uh, offers here. Okay, with the Queen of Wands, they're just, I feel like you're sitting pretty, okay? And you pretty much could ask for what you want here, money guys. okay? And yes, you have the higher ground, so go for it. Queen of Wands energy, okay? It looks like two different situations going on here. Something you've known about before, King Wands energy, and then something that you are gonna find out King of Pentacles energy. The one that's gonna be more, the one that's gonna be more towards the future is the stable one, okay? Not the one that you know before, the one you're gonna find out about. Okay, let's have my Capricorn's career in finance for now until the end of July. Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. You may get some advice from a friend, okay? Or your network circle there. Um, but yeah, it's gonna really help you to hold on to a situation that's more stable. Okay, so we see there were some concerns with the main person about a new situation. Mm -hmm. You had to be patient. There was some travel you guys are gonna do, but the travel or the movement has ended or stopped or you guys took a break from travel 
and we see this sudden wealth of abundance comes in. And seven of wands, you got the higher ground. You're defending your position when it comes to this wealth, this sudden abundance, okay? Seven, there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing about this choice. Something is being completed here because of an opportunity. King of wands is coming out saying, okay, you're taking a leadership role here and isolating yourself from the situation. And you're able to hold on to what you want here for Pentacles energy. You're aware, you're looking at the door, you're like, yeah, I can, I can open this. You know, and I have the key to open this. <laughs> what does it say? Great fortune here. Luck is on your side. King of Pentacles, the final card. You're going to make the best decision for yourself. <gasps> Look at that. You're going to receive money. You're going to receive a bonus. You're going to receive this situation, this offer here for some of you. And it's going to be a good one too. So a lot of money. Uh, it's going to come suddenly. Yeah, you'll choose the right one. You'll separate yourself from the one that you're... Now, let me just let you understand which one you should go for. Okay, so we got two situations going on here. One is very passionate, creative, okay? And uh, the other one is feels more stable, uh, more long-term, okay? So think about that one. And that one that's very passionate seems like it's involving some kind of travel or something that's causing you concern, okay? But you'll get the victory here. I don't feel like this one over here is about travel, okay? It's kind of more home-based there. Okay, let's just go further on that. We see me in person. We see some worries and concerns, okay? You're going to have to debate and argue your point when it comes to this text message, letter, documents also can represent a check. Okay, but yeah, you're gonna receive something more than you expected. Something more than you expected, Capricorn. Wow, congratulations, guys. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple weeks and I will see you guys in another day or two. I love you guys so much. And there's multiple reasons for you guys to go check out right now. Have a great rest of your next couple days. I will see you guys soon.